Hello, and today is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. Welcome to my Osprey watching video. Here's a new Osprey nest right here. Yeah, new Osprey nest. Can you believe it? I knew something was going on with that nest because I saw a few twigs over here on this nest last time I was here a couple weeks ago. And then last week, I didn't see any Osprey anywhere. Temperatures were very low. It was like in the 60s. And also, there's some birds over here, too. I don't think they're osprey, though. No, they're just those grackle-like kind of birds. The ones that I see just about everywhere, even at parking lots and places like that. And as you can see, some twigs end up dropping to the ground, which is normal, I guess. So yeah, there they are. A whole bunch of twigs all fell from the nest. But it doesn't mean that it was an unsuccessful nest. They might come back. And I brought my drone with me, but I'm not going to use it until the Osprey get used to the drone. Then I'll start flying it. I just want to just hang out with the Osprey for a while. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get closer to that nest just for a few minutes. And then I'm going to go over to the skate park and hang out with those Osprey for a while. Okay, so here is the original Osprey nest. The Osprey nest that I filmed last year that I haven't been filming a lot of this year. And you can hear the female calling in the background. She's in the nest right now. She's not making that many calls. Hmm, what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means, oh, there she goes. But I don't know if it's because of me that she flew off. I don't, I don't think so. I was, I was actually standing right here. And believe me, I've gotten close to her in the past. So I don't think it was because of me that she flew off. As far as the other nest goes, we'll see how that nest goes in the future too. I have work tomorrow and the day after that, so I'm not going to be here till next week. So this will be the last time I'm here. All right, so I'm walking away now. I'm sure that osprey will do just fine without me. Also, I found out that the male that's at the nest now with that osprey is not the same male that was with her last year. So she must have found a new mate for sure. And the reason why I think she found new mate is because the osprey that was next to her had more brown plumage than the male from last year. Okay, so that's the end of the footage. See you later. Okay, so there's an osprey on this tree right here. <laughs> way up there. There's the, oh man, right when I zoomed in on the Osprey. Oh, in many ways, I think it had, I think it had um, almost all white plumage. So what Osprey was that? Well, we are about to find out. Osprey flies off. But why? Why does he fly away? Wow, that osprey has like almost no, has almost like no neckline at all. Wow. Okay, so this is a definitely a different osprey than what we saw before. Mmm, okay. So what that means is, um, since this is a different osprey than what we saw before, then this is not the osprey that's at the nest at the skate park. It is not, okay? Okay, so, this is what I'm going to do. How about I give this osprey my fish? Okay, so you can see he's standing there.
So I'm doing something a little bit different this time. This time I'm actually holding the fish out to the osprey. That way he can visualize the fish. Visualize. Hey, Osprey. <sighs> I just head bobbing, but no swooping on the fish, though. I did throw it, though. I always get mad like when they do head bobbing like right after I throw the fish he bobs his head but he doesn't go for it like what what is what is with that kind of activity like I just really don't get it I'm offering you a fish I am There was a woman that literally walked underneath this osprey. That's the craziest thing, right? So if she can do it, then certainly I could. But is this osprey going to let me do that? It's a male osprey. A male osprey is not going to let me get right underneath him. There's no way that's ever going to happen. Like, I've already proven it time and time again that males are always more timid than females. Always, 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 always. Hmm. What am I going to do with you, Osprey? I really don't know. 
So it looks like this osprey is already eaten recently. I think so. All right, let me just go collect the fish real quick. If I can crawl the ground. I was able to grab it. He let me. He let me grab it. Okay. I do have this fish for ya. Hmm. It's not working. That's typical. Okay, so I'm going to try something, okay? Yes, me. I'm going to try something. Okay, so what I want to try is I want to try to see if I can get underneath this osprey. This osprey should let me. I mean, what do I got to lose, you know? What do I have to lose? only have to lose an osprey. Okay, osprey. I'm coming for ya. I don't care. I'm coming for ya. Well, goodbye, osprey. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all because of me. It's all my fault. Why? I, I, I even crawled. Why'd you do it? I'm, I'm ugly, that's why. I'm ugly to you. Yet everybody walks by, looks beautiful to you. That's okay. If you don't like me because I look mean to you then that's perfectly fine. Like, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Hey, Osprey. Hello, everybody. I'm back. And the Osprey's back at the nest. That nest is what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, so he's doing great right now. And I can zoom in further, by the way. I can zoom in all the way up to there. But for some reason, my focus is crapping out on me. So there he is. The male osprey. Yep. Now, I can hear the female. He, she, She's somewhere, but she'll be back, possibly. I do want to try to get closer to this male osprey if I could. I mean, I did it before. Why wouldn't he let me do it again? Alright, I'm going to try. It's always worth a try, right? It's alright, osprey. I'm just trying to film you. Oh, wait. Let me zoom out first. Might be a good idea. All right. Yeah, I initially called this Osprey Fearless Tom, but he's not so fearless after all. But he's certainly less fearful than the other male Ospreys, at least. Hmm, this isn't good. Something's wrong with my camera. It's not... Oh, okay. 
well, this definitely isn't good for flight footage, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep on filming this Osprey right here. At least for right now, anyways. Uh, whoops. As long as this Osprey's cool with it, at least. No, no, no! Don't fly! Don't fly! Okay, so the female came back. The female came back. The female is right there. Next to the male. I need to put bug spray on me. It's, bugs are getting bad. really nice. Okay, now let's go look at the female now. Oh, sorry about that. That female is actually right there. Okay. That's good. Female's right there. Okay. Hmm. But it's just not close enough. I know I'm really asking too much for these Osprey to get close to me, but I always want to give it a try. See, I can see, you can see that's the female because she's got more brown patches on her chest. So congratulations, they found each other. You know, they've... I don't want to clap because these are raptors. You know, so just real gent gentle claps. So, uh... Basically, round of applause for that. And so she's on the right side of the nest and the male's on the left. I would like to try to get closer to one of these Osprey. Maybe at least the female maybe might be taller enough for me to get close to her. But I don't know about the male. And every time I've seen two Osprey together, they seem to be a lot more picky on how close that they're, let, they're allowing me to get. I mean, maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way that this osprey can let me get right underneath her. Did you want to pick up those twigs right there? You can if you want. It's up to you. I know I'm risking it by trying to get close, but it might very well be worth it. There's some wing flapping going on. What's going on? Oh, there's a territorial dispute. There's a territorial dispute. It's okay. It's all right, Osprey. What's going on? They're flying to that nest. What? What's going on? They both flew over to that nest. I'm sorry you can't see it very well. My camera's not working too good today.
Yeah, I'm having some difficulty with the focus. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. Um, so now what's, what's going, what do I think is going on? So Osprey flies over to the other nest with that other Osprey. Is there like some sort of cheating going on? Do you think these Osprey are cheating with each other? I think so. I think it's very possible. Oh, and look at this. Oh my gosh, it's an Osprey feather. So I'm keeping it in my pocket. Okay, so very nice. Uh, so yeah, so looks like so that was the female, yeah. The female just flew over to that nest, which is very unusual. Um, so what do I think happens? This is what I think happens. The male came a little bit later this year than usual. So because she thought the male wasn't going to come back, she hooked up with a new mate. That new mate was actually in, oh, crap. Now what's going on? Um, so now they're flying off. Oh man, you can't see nothing. My camera's messed up. You can't get the flight, but they both seem to be flying away from the lake. Far away. And there is the osprey. Right there. So yeah, so I think a territorial dispute just happened earlier with these Osprey. So we thought this Osprey was going to be true to that nest, but she decided to join in with this Osprey to help build his nest. So yes, there was definitely some cheating going on here. Yeah, the female was hooking up with two male Osprey. But you see, this male right here is the male that she knew all along. So now what?
Oh, by the way, I do want to talk about the stock market. I do still own the 1,250 shares of Skills stock. I'm just trying to wait for it to go up to 23.50 a share to sell it. Right now it's at 17 something a share. I think it'll certainly make it there. So as you may have known, I did buy shares at a lower price, so that helped reduce my average. So my average price is 21.50, so I need to sell it at 21.50 to break even. Of course, I do need to sell it maybe 10 cents or 20 cents higher as a worst case scenario because I might have to pay interest on my margin, like extra interest, if I keep it for way too long. I mean, I am going to have to pay interest no matter what because I've kept it for more than one day. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah, I just can't seem to get the focus perfect. Maybe you try to get closer, closer to the Osprey. What do you think? Yeah, no. I like that idea. Maybe he'll let me. Let's see.
Oh, oh, oh no. Goodbye, Osprey, again. Goodbye, Osprey. And he pretty much flew the same way that he did the last time he flew off. Ah. Yeah, I couldn't get him to stay. I mean, he wasn't going to stay anyways. I mean, that was pretty obvious. And then, what about the other Osprey? Are the other Osprey still there? Of course they are. I'm sure they are. Yeah, so the female, um, the female is in that nest. So she's doing just fine, and I'm sure she saw the Osprey flying off, and she didn't go find him either. So that's a good thing. Uh, let me get my stuff here. All right, I am out of here. I'll see you next Thursday.